with Forbes, right? They have the magazine for rich people. Every year they release Forbes, latest 30 under 30. 30 people under 30 years old that are, you know, multi-millionaire CEOs. Fine, and why you're still that. a peasant. Yeah, those people. <laughs> well, their YouTube channel has a rather interesting series called Relentless, okay? Now, I don't know where this ideology came from, but for some reason growing up, we're oftentimes spoon-fed this absolute verbal diarrhea where we have to wake up at 3.20 in the morning. So it started off 4 o'clock in the morning where I'd start and I'd start with my cardio, then I'd have breakfast, and then I would go to the gym, and then I'd go to work. Take a cold shower. But that's the point. By putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation, you strengthen your willpower. Do no fap in order to be successful. Like 6 a.m. Sunlight alarm goes on. I'm already up. High intensity interval training on the treadmill. Catching up on my podcast. What, what is this? The 1920s? No, it's ridiculous. And today we're going to watch... A whole host of what we call hustle porn okay videos designed to light okay. that fire i don't know who this guy is but i love him already this guy i, I love him immediately okay we are we are aligned on this issue immediately he's throwing out vibes and i'm i'm picking him up okay under your tushy get you off the couch and moving make an absolute mogul moves so that you too can become a young successful entrepreneur yeah at first we were talking about influencers now we're talking about entrepreneurs <laughs> so stupid man as if everyone in this culture has to become a blood-sucking capitalist that makes millions of dollars a month like give me a break man who is this guy bro Wait, I want to see if he's ever been in my chat. King shit. Oh, following since September 7th. Never chatted. Probably banned? No. Best chatter. Man. The first video we're gonna- The perfect chatter. We're gonna watch from the series is called I Wake Up Every Day at 4.30. Relentless. I wake up every day at 4.30. I work out, shower, meditate, and get dressed. No, you don't. <laughs> I really don't believe that people- Is Burner linked to this video? No. Do this, okay? You're telling me every morning you wake up at 4.30 a.m. The literal ass crack. The sun is not out. It's still pitch black out. You work out, meditate, shower, and practice gratefulness. Like, listen, all the power to you. But I just find that so hard to believe, okay? When my alarm clock... You know, I don't have an alarm clock. When I wake up in the morning, I don't know who I am or where I am, okay? It takes about... 30 minutes for my body to have a factory reboot so that I could start the day. How do you just get out of bed like a cyborg, you know, and now you're just hammering out some push-ups? You're meditating? Like, am I off base here? Do you guys do this? Sometimes my meditation is just a quick minute to remind me to keep working hard and always be grateful. That's the worst thing you can learn from your meditation. You should be meditating to be like the, the the thing you should be learning from your meditation, your meditative session, is that it's really dumb to wake up at 4 30 every morning. Something tells me that if you're meditating to remind yourself to keep working hard, <laughs> your goals and uh, priorities a little out of touch. <laughs> I think a lot of people use meditation to, you know, take a step back, take a breather. No, keep working hard! I don't usually wear a suit to work, but this is the time of year when most charities have their annual benefit dinners. I plug in my headphones and start listening to my audiobooks. I listen at three times the normal speed. <laughs> you listen to audiobooks at three... I hate this, dude. 100% speed. <laughs> hey, Kareem, you read any good books recently? Oh yeah, I read 78. Off to work. I mostly commute by train, so I use an app to minimize my wait time on the platform to ensure I don't miss a train by a few seconds. I'm in the office by 7 a.m. I try to get four to five miles of walking done in the morning before I head back to my desk, change out my sneakers, and lace up my shoes to start the day.
So he's sweaty as shit. He's got the sweatiest ball sacks in the office. Hey, yo, that's that's Kareem right there, dude. Old sweaty ball sack Kareem. Bro. That's literally just the saddest life, dude. These homies, 1,000%, like, they, they watched American Psycho and got the worst lessons from it. This man didn't even eat breakfast yet, okay? He worked out, meditated, showered, we have walks five miles that. before noon without any food in his system. He's listening to audiobooks <laughs> at three times speed. I don't even see him drink water. I'm working on self-publishing three books in the spring. I had given myself an hour to write. Now I'm left with just 15 minutes. Every minute counts. This man's gonna publish three books by the spring? With an hour of writing Love a day. You, As it's posted in July. So you got what? Eight months? <laughs> no? <laughs> I try to start all of my internal group meetings with three deep breaths. It helps me get centered and bring my attention to the meeting. Hold on, Stacy, sh 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 shut the fuck up for a second. Oh. 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 Then I'm off to grab a quick bite. Finally, this man is sitting down to eat, and I know that pseudo-industrial aluminum foil wall from anywhere. This man's at Chipotle. I guarantee I can nail this entrepreneur's Chipotle order. Ready? Quadruple steak, no rice. You want to stay in ketosis, okay? No glucose to the brain. You want to stay in optimal functioning capacity. Then you get a water cup, but you fill it up. I love this dude. Tea. This dude is funny. Oh my god. With Dr. Pepper. Because you are a Sigma male. <laughs> Shit, now wipe later. I'm done by 545 and headed to the gala. I keep my girlfriend posted on my ETA. Tonight we're supporting an education charity for children of lesser means in South Africa. Listen, this man could be curing actual cancer, but that sounds so pretentious. I'm going to the gala to solve educational crisis in South Africa. I'm out by nine and- It's so funny because it's like, you're not doing shit, dog. You're attending a fucking charity dinner. Like I've- uh, bro, I've gone to a million of these things. I've gone to a million of these fucking things. It's like, you're not doing shit. Dead by 1030. Waking up early to do it all again tomorrow, but I don't mind. I've dedicated my life to leveling the educational playing field for children growing up just like I did. Cool. LFD. Back to work at 430, baby. Grind time. Woo! I'm going to be honest. I can tolerate some of these relentless videos. So but sad. By and large, the title to these things are so asinine. Hear me out. Look at this. I start my day with meditation. I wake up every day at 430 a.m. Attempting a work-life balance. Never not hustling. My car is my escape pod. I fall asleep at 3 a.m. My priority is content. Sleep is the I think the saddest part about this is that there are like a million people like this and even a larger number of people that like watch videos and shit like this in order to be successful. And I'm just like, like someone like Soda Poppy, I'm not even going to use myself because I do work a lot. Like I do kind of resemble their fucking Sigma lifestyle a little bit in the worst ways possible. And I want to change that. But like someone like Soda is... 1,000 times more successful than those guys ever will be. Austin. Soda. Like, every one of these, everyone on Twitch is like a gajillion times more successful than these, like, entrepreneurs, you know? And that is picking lint out of his belly button at the Gucci store, you know? Just think about that. Means to an end. I'm Alexandra Satarain and I'm the co-founder of Eight. I find it so funny that all of these entrepreneurs just put sleep on the back burner. Yeah, who needs that shit? When it quite literally regulates all of your body's functions. If you don't sleep, you most mornings, I'm awake by 7. Mateo prepares a glass of water, lemon, and turmeric while I check our sleep stats in the Eight app. I was gonna say what type of psychopath looks at their sleep stats, but she owns a sleep company. 
Mateo prepares a glass of water, lemon, and turmeric while I check our sleep stats in the 8 app. I don't. Bro. Like, sleep stats, dude. They're so wild. Oh, I'm checking my sleep stats, dude. Just sleep, dude. Just go to sleep. This guy's video on Wizza is great. Just came back from hanging out with my it's local. It's so DSA. great that it's unavailable, bro. For a local pride event. That it's no longer available. Don't drink coffee, so the espresso is from a tail only. I don't know about you guys, but I'm already tired. Once she busted out the glass of water with turmeric and lemon, I'm like, that's way too many steps, okay? How about take a morning dump? Like, are you guys robots? <laughs> you can't tell me you do this every day. Wait, 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 you brush your teeth? Today, I'm mentoring three entrepreneurs seeking advice on messaging and marketing channels. I use the 15 minute walk there to check on the status of our latest retail launch and squeeze in a brief call to my mom in Mexico. You guys ever just, uh, how do I say it? Not do anything? You ever just throw in some AirPods and listen to music? No? You have to maximize every second of every single day. Okay. Dinner is our favorite time to brainstorm. I mean, the thing is, like, I do min-max a little bit too. So, like, I kind of do that as well. I can't be, like, shitting on these people that much. Because there's, unfortunately, only a limited amount of time. How's your collection? Before disconnecting for the rest of the evening. We're in bed by 1030. Sleep is the means to an end for a productive life. I hate that ending. Sleep is not a means to an end. You need it. I would rather mop the actual ocean than this be my job. I still don't understand what any of these people do. They do so much, but yet nothing all at the same time. I fall asleep at 3 a.m. Okay, what time do you think this specific entrepreneur wakes up at? Yeah, comment down below. Every morning, I wake up to my dog trooper around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. The title of this video is, I fall asleep at 3 a.m. Four hours of sleep a night. The trooper is like my morning therapy. Between rubbing her belly and feeding her, she gives me the perfect boost to start my day. The comment section in these videos are absolute comedy gold. People are not sheep. They understand the absurdity of these videos. <laughs> Some of them have me dying, man. I wake up at 4.30 Pacific time every day, including weekends and Sat Sundays. Sat Sundays is a new day I invented so I can work eight days a week. In preparation of this video for the Relentless series, I also started a hedge fund, created Wall Street Part 2, mimics the crypto market hours, and a bakery that only has one ingredient, blueberries. At 5 a.m. I prepare my 13-mile hike up the Rocky Mountains in order to harvest said blueberries from my bakery. Exercise is very important to me. I run five miles in two minutes of the gym in my 100-square-foot apartment that I build with my bare hands when I was just six years old. By the time I get into my office, leftist meme, dude. At 9 a.m., I'm prepared to take on the day. I mean, with a title like... Well, now we know the leftist, okay? Now I know. I mean, it's over. GG's, this guy is like 100% a leftist. Bike rides are for multitasking. Let's just jump in. Every day, I wake up at 6.42 a.m., or at least attempt to. I immediately make my bed and do a quick 21 push-ups. That's Cap. That's Cap. I don't know a singular person that wakes up and does push-ups right out of bed. And then I roll over and I do my 2,222 push-ups. <laughs> Post-workout, I throw together the most important meal of the day. Lox and eggs plus some berries. Then it's a quick ice cold shower, change, and prep for the day. Ice cold shower. Why? Why? <laughs> what do we not have hot water in 2021? I'm all for in a hot summer's day, a cold shower. It feels nice and cool on your skin, invigorating. But don't try to sell me this absolute hogwash that cold showers are superior to warm or hot showers. I then hop a bike and head to work. The bike ride serves for phone calls too. My parents and brother are almost always the first calls of the day. He's like panting. Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah. Uh, make sure to get those reports to me by seven. Uh, uh. As you get decapitated by a car door. While you're trying to finish your conference calls on the bike. Today. How many people could you possibly call in one day? It can't wait. You can't just send a text. Why, why are these people always talking to other people? Shoot out some emails and tie up loose ends. To blow up some steam at the end of the day and get next. They're talking about. They're talking to other people. My friend, you don't understand. They're talking to other people also about Sigma Grindset shit. Big part of Sigma Grindset is constantly talking about how Sigma you are to other people and how you. Gaming channel needs more assassins. You keep Bell shit Howard. going. You keep the Sigma shit going. Why did you say Pog? Oh, did someone give him a subscription? Yeah, someone gave him a gift. Sub? Oh, Glue C did. <laughs> yeah, he's a real Hasanabi head now. Extra energy boost. I try to run home. So this guy bikes to work and then runs home. <laughs> You can't make this up. You can't make this up. I, I bet this guy actually does that. I'm done with this video. Follow me on Twitch at Philion Live. Check out my podcast. And I'm going to go meditate and remind myself to work hard. I like this guy a lot, dude. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>